This training tutorial was created to show you how to use the Resume Wizard tool. The data that is typed into the examples by the trainer is not meant to be used on a resume. It is simply to show you how to use the tool. Please refer to the tips and advice within the Resume Wizard or contact your Harrison Career Services personnel. To launch the Resume Wizard, you will go to your CareerLink account and hover over the My Account tab and click on My Documents. Now under the Resume section, you will see the Use Resume Wizard link. Clicking on this link will automatically launch you into the Resume Wizard tool. An additional resource that is found in the Resume Wizard is the Interview and Salary tab. This is a great tool to research previously recorded mock interviews, as well as some 500 interview questions. Clicking on the play button here will launch you into the pre-recorded mock interview sessions. And the salary finder is a great way to research specific industries as well as area of residence. We encourage you to research the Resume Wizards Interview and Salary tab for great information. Let's go now back to the Resume section. We'll click on the Resume Letter tab. Here you can start a new resume or edit and view your previous resumes. You have a choice to either start a new resume or to import your resume. For the first part of this training tutorial, we will build a resume from scratch. So we'll go ahead and click the Continue button. The first step is ensuring that the personal information that transferred from your CareerLink account into the Resume Wizard was brought over the way you wish. You are able to edit the information or the fields found here. It will not change your personal information in your CareerLink account. So every field that you want reflected on your resume, be sure to edit the fields appropriately. After you have ensured the fields are filled out appropriately, go ahead and click the Continue button. Next, you will choose your resume type. The default resume type is the most generally used, most transferable type that the Harrison Career Services Department feels is the best type to use. However, you can scroll through each types listed and choose the type you'd like to use. You will see the sample of each what each type looks like on the right. When you have chosen the type that you would like to use, go ahead and click the Continue button. Each resume type will have recommended sections. You do not have to use each recommended section. The sections are listed here. You can change the order of each section using the arrow buttons. Do not feel that you have to use each recommended section. As well, if you would like to add another section, just simply click the Add Another button. If you would like to delete a recommended section, go ahead and click the X button. When you've made your final selections, go ahead and click the Continue button. Throughout your time building your resume, the Resume Wizard will show you how far you have come in building your resume and how much you have left. Now it's time to title your resume. Using the Titles button here, you can see what the expert advice is in naming your resume. Generally, you'll want to name your resume by the type of job or the job title you are building your resume for. Or if this is a general resume that you will want to use as a transferable resume, name it in that manner. So when you've done click, uh, naming your resume, go ahead and click the Continue button. The next step in building your resume is to establish your objective. What is an objective to a resume? You can find out by clicking the question mark. This will give you expert advice on what you should be thinking about for adding your objective. 
If you already have an objective created, you can copy and paste it here in this text box. If you would like assistance on writing a phrase, you can click on the Phrases button found at the top. This will give you already created ideas on selected phrases. If you'd like to choose one of these phrases, go ahead and click on it and it will auto-populate into the text box for you. Now you will be able to edit this particular phrase. You do not have to use the entire recommended phrase and be sure to get rid of all of the underlined empty spaces as well as the help tips found in parentheses. Once you are finished writing your phrase, be sure to use the spell check button as well and then you're able to click continue for the next step in writing your resume. Now you're ready to build your summary. Again, if you do not know what you should be thinking about when writing your summary, you can click on the question mark found at the top. This will give you expert advice on what you should be thinking about for your summary. As well, if you already have a summary created, you can copy and paste it into the provided text box. If not, you can once again use the phrases button for professional advice on selected summaries. Now you'll be able to edit this particular summary. Again, be sure to erase all of the underlined blank spaces as well as the help tips provided to you in parentheses. Again, also remember that you do not have to use the entire recommended phrase. You can simply use portions of it and cut and paste which areas you would like to use or simply delete the entire rest of the phrase. There's a words button found here next to the phrases button. The words button gives you a great deal of words that you can use to help you think outside of the box to provide some powerful words to use on your resume. And just like the phrases button, if you would like to use a selected word, simply click on it and it will auto populate into the summary box. And that is how to build your summary. Go ahead and click the continue button when you have finished. To learn how to use the remaining portion of the resume wizard, please continue on to the tutorial labeled part two of how to use the resume wizard.